Hi besties, right now I am driving to the mountains because the mountains are just very therapeutic for me. I really need to let things out of my chest. I've been like this for a while and I've been wanting to go up here because I've grown up like being around the mountains and like going to the mountains and it's always been my favorite and going up there is just so peaceful. And for today's video, I'm just gonna be talking to you guys. Let me get there. I'm waiting at the style light right now. I'm also gonna be taking pictures of some dolls that I brought. I brought four sets of dolls, two wildlife safari and my two native beauties. I have like, 30 minutes left, so I'll see you guys when I get up there and I find a place to talk to, sit down, and just chit chat. I am out here taking pictures now. I'm taking pictures right now and I'm just like, how the heck is she standing? Love that for me. Mm -hmm. Love that. Look how pretty. Okay, I was planning on filming outside, but it's pretty windy, plus you guys can hear the cars. Um, I am out in the mountains. I love the mountains. This is the first time I've ever gone by myself. I'm okay, I literally have. Can I show this on YouTube? I'm prepared. I'm not gonna show, I don't know if I'm supposed to show that, but I'm prepared. I oh, know, I'm fine. <laughs> but I am like an hour away from home and I haven't ate today. For today's video, I am going to be just venting to you guys about how I think in a way I've kind of healed my inner child. Like the previous video, like I've told you guys, I have been struggling lately. Overall, just this year, I've been very open with you guys this year. I want you guys to get to know me and like my struggles with like doll collecting. Doll collecting is not all about sunshines and rainbows, you know, like people like think it's perfect and there's no flaws when it comes to dog collecting but really there's a lot of struggles and i want to help those who are new dog collectors or those who have been collecting for a long time who aren't really comfortable and i want my videos to help you open up and see my perspective as, as somebody who has a bigger dog collection and i don't want to be fake to you guys like i've told y'all i have been struggling especially the end of july towards now with my mental health i've just been so depressed nothing has been satisfying me since i haven't been spending money on dolls i haven't really bought a lot of dolls in a hot minute now i think i have healed my inner child because sometimes whenever i look at my dolls i'm like, I don't know what to say. I used to be very happy with them. They used to give me a lot of satisfaction. Now, I love them, but like, they don't give me that anymore. And it sucks because I've grown up to love dolls. Recollecting dolls has helped me in so many ways. I have had a major transformation from me almost three years ago to now. October is gonna be three years since I've been collecting Monster High. March is gonna be three years since I've been collecting Bratz. I posted a video on TikTok. I'm gonna post it here. I'm asking you guys this question this doesn't have to be for just doll collectors it could be for any collector out there how do you guys know that you've healed your inner child because sometimes i feel like whenever i get dolls it's just like what's the point of it now like back then i used to be very like oof i really needed this or like this is like my happiness right now but like whenever i get it i'm just like i i don't have to get this like how do you know if I've healy fulfilled my inner child because I don't know. I'm happy, but my dolls aren't my care for happiness like it used to be. I have been getting Hello Kitty stuff though, Sanrio stuff. Like I was so depressed yesterday and I went to the mall and I got this Hello Kitty Sanrio Karomi keychain. Instantly, I was so happy. If it was a doll, I'd be like, <laughs> I don't know. Like has anybody ever gone through this? Like, honestly, I don't want to collect dolls my whole entire life. There's nothing wrong if you want that for yourself, but for me, no, I don't really want this for my whole entire life. I don't know, it just really be making me thinking, like, is my inner child healed? Because right now, I've been trying to heal my inner teen by, like, going out, doing my makeup. Because, obviously, when you fulfill that inner child, you have to fulfill your inner teen, and then it goes to your adult. Sometimes it takes a lot of people to fulfill the inner child. It takes them years. 
for me it took me probably like two years maybe it's not fulfilled i don't know but for some people it takes longer for some people it takes shorter time and i guess right now i'm only 19 by the way i i know i'm still young but like i feel like i'm not as experienced with how other people my age are by like going out and stuff i did that at a very late age so i'm trying to fulfill that inner teen but i don't know besties um can you guys like let me know if anybody else is going through the same thing maybe we can help each other or if you are a previous doll collector or whatever collector like how did you know you were done i still love my dolls but i don't want them to overtake my life like they used to because really i've just been trying to focus on myself not taking forever to clean these so i posted that i literally have no self-service over here so i took a screenshot of all the comments so i was talking about how like how do you guys know if you've healed your inner child and a lot of you guys had a lot to say i'm just gonna like short this up a little bit so it doesn't take up like everything because because my battery is at 79% and this thing dies super fast. It could be overwhelming with how many dolls you have. I'm trying to focus on dolls that really make me happy and getting rid of the ones that don't. It could also be overwhelming spinning of dolls, which I feel that too. I think what I regret walking away from it, and that's true, sometimes I'm like, Man, if I don't buy this, like, I went to the flea market and I was like, Ugh, should I get these dolls? And I didn't, and then I lucky regretted it, but I'm also like, do I need them? I have an attachment problem overall, not even with just people, but, like, with things. So, Nevra. I got this Nevra out of flea market. I've told you guys, each doll of mine has a story. This Chloe, I also got her out of flea market my beautiful native american barbie i met this old lady and she sold me like four native american barbies for an incredible price spirit of the earth i got her when i was in new mexico each doll of mine has a story so that could be a reason why i have so many i have so many dolls like in the box like i showed you guys in my last video like i am getting rid of some dolls in the box i think that is the best thing for me because it's something that i really just have to let go of and it takes up a lot of space like i literally don't want my display to be so overwhelming you know and that's why i've been rearranging a lot of things seeing what i like and don't like and i'm getting rid of my creative monsters and i think decluttering has been helping me a bit i got rid of my brat's babies but i don't want to get to the point where i get rid of everything like i do feel like in a way my inner child is healed but i also don't want it to disappear you know i don't want that creativity in my mind to disappear because i'm no longer collecting dolls and also in a way i have been getting into like sanrio stuff which i mentioned this in the tiktok clip like i have been buying stuff my purse and also my car keys it has hello kitty on it so it's like things like that little things like i'm over the doll phase i'm still collecting dolls point blank i still am but i'm not gonna go as crazy as i used to be because i still love dolls i still have a passion for dolls it's like i cannot go crazy and like i did last year because i made a video end of december and i got like over like 20 dolls a month which was crazy january february march April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. And luckily I've been slowing it down this year. A lot of people said that you can't really heal your inner child, which I kind of disagree on. But then in a way I can see their perspective because it's like when you're older, you look at something like, oh, I used to wear that as a kid. I'm going to get this. So specifically it doesn't have to be with dolls, but with my doll inner child, I feel like in a way I am done because I got in almost all the dolls that I've wanted as a kid, like the Comic-Con dolls. I don't want to stop collecting. I still love them, but I don't want to stop. Some comments that I got was, I don't think it ever ends, but you just feel okay to focus on something else for once. Also, one of the most amazing Dragular cosplayers on TikTok said, I think it also has something to do with having to make content about dolls as well. I've been feeling the same. I love dolls, but I'm tired. So with me, I've always wanted my doll YouTube channel and like my doll social media to grow. I have always wanted to make YouTube videos, even as as a kid 10 11 12 i got bullied for it i got super cyber bullied as well making videos making people hear my perspective and listening to me has been one of my goals and that still is my goal i still want to make youtube videos i tell you guys this all the freaking time i still do i want to show you guys my passion for things i want you guys to see my perspective in things in a way it's like i'm not gonna lie to you guys sometimes like the following or like pr getting noticed by like the creator for example of monster high 
online. All of that can be very competitive. Followers, when I first started my doll social media, it used to really get to me. I used to post every single day on TikTok and that really emotionally damaged me because that's the number one thing I would do. I would never focus on myself. That is not good. I don't feel forced to post. I don't want you guys to feel that way. Even me, as someone who has almost 2,000 subscribers, imagine somebody bigger than me, over 100,000, how they feel. You know, like they're forced because they have so many subscribers or like people counting on them and stuff. And that's why I'm open with you guys because I want you guys to know how I have been feeling. I want to talk to you guys, see how you guys feel. I don't know how to really explain it, but in a way, doll social media can be very draining. That's why sometimes I just distance myself from the doll community. Sorry, I'm like getting so sidetracked. We're talking about healing our inner child. <laughs> No, that could be another video. If you guys want to make a video about that, let me know. This one is a really good comment. Perhaps your inner child isn't interested in dolls the same way you were originally. Hence the feeling you've said you're interested in Senrio. So perhaps that's something your inner child is attached to now. Or it could be your inner child really does feel healed now. Hard thing to know exactly. As I think it's different for everyone. Personally, my inner child felt healed once I started realizing it wasn't constantly surrounding myself with things she enjoys. But rather than implementing something small things but I really do think it depends on the person and trying to find what works for you either way I wish you and your inner child the best that's a really great way to like see it I can see why people don't think healing your inner child is a thing because it's like it goes on to the next it does depend on the person and for me it's like I go into phases I have been collecting dolls for over two years there's some people that have been collecting dolls for over 30 40 50 years like what is enough to make it feel as if that I am healing my inner child or it doesn't even collecting doesn't even have to be with healing your inner child you know i think that was for me i collect for healing my inner child but i also collect because i love dolls but i also don't want dolls to be consuming my life you know i don't want that for me i'm so glad that now me as an almost 20 year old has realized that because 18 year old me 17 16 year old me would have never thought i would overcome this if that makes sense i'm still collecting okay i'm gonna make this freaking clear i still am but like i don't let collecting consume my life like it used to be you know for me i need to realize that dolls aren't the only thing i need to focus on in life i can still really like them but it's okay to take breaks from them and enjoy other things your dolls will be there when you get back for me dolls are downtime things so something to do when i'm free and you're completely right. Your dolls are always going to be there. I'm still young and I'm still trying to figure out myself. And I don't know why I just have this urge of like, I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to make sure I got to get this doll, this, this, and that. And then it piles up. That's what happened to me last year. And at least in a way, I know that I have a problem with doll collecting. If I don't get this, then I'm gonna regret this. If I don't get this, then I won't be happy. If this doll isn't on sale, then I'm gonna get depressed because I don't have that doll. It's like a cycle. I have been trying to break that cycle and this year that was like one of my biggest goals is to make sure that dolls don't define you as a person. I've mentioned this numerous times. Don't depend your happiness on your dolls because sometimes it's like whenever I buy a doll, I'm like, ooh, I'm so happy. And then I go back to being sad. Right now, the things that I'm going through, you know, I'm still trying to figure out myself and I haven't bought a doll, but I've been urging to, which I haven't felt that way in so long, besties. I have not had the urge to buy a doll and I am just like looking on like ebay or like makari and all the prices are ridiculous and it makes me even more sad because i cannot get a doll that i truly want because the prices are ridiculous but you know things happen for a reason this is a learning and growing experience if i could i would show all the comments but those ones are just the highlights and really got me thinking so thank you guys for that like i've said in a way i do feel like my inner child is healed but i also feel as if i am not satisfied with a lot of things like sometimes i look at my collection and i'm like i'm not really satisfied that's even with a lot of things other things in my life i went to a concert for the first time wasn't even satisfied but it was so good does that make sense Sense. like I just I feel eh, with <laughs> with everything I'm talking to you guys with this because I want to look back and see how far I've grown posting this video I'm still trying to like find and figure out what makes me happy but anyways we're gonna be talking about healing our inner teen as well I am at a point of my life I want to do so many things growing up let's a teen is like what high school middle school 
let's say just high school to senior me, 14 to 18 year old me. Overall in school, I have always struggled to make friends. I have had so many trio friend groups, always feeling left out, always feeling like I was never enough. Even with my knowledge, with my learning, there was so many issues that I've had. I've always felt left out. In high school and middle school as well, I had a lot of anxiety, social anxiety. I would get so nervous with a lot of things. I would never go out. I got my license late also. I was um, almost 17. I just felt so left out with so many things. I've always wanted to go thrifting. I've always wanted to do all these things, get out of the house. What the heck are all these cars coming from? I've always wanted to do all these things and I couldn't because of my anxiety. It was so bad. I was shaking all the time. Sometimes I just had an RBF also so like nobody approached me. Plus I also struggled with weight. I was very heavy when I was in school. I didn't realize it was a problem till I started losing weight if that makes sense. Like the gym was so hard but I'm not I'm here to talk about that. I missed out on so much because of my anxiety. Because I was too scared to push myself. This year, I decided to push myself by making new friends, which I have. I cut off my high school friends. I've never had a relationship. I've never held hands with a man. Until I pushed myself into meeting guys. And life has just been so different. I'm trying to heal my inner team. In a way, it's been working. Like, I've been buying makeup. I have been buying clothes. And since I'm a lot thinner now than I used to be... I I can wear clothes that I never would have thought. I think that is what my distraction is from healing my inner child because I'm too busy trying to heal my inner teen now. Once you've healed your inner child, it goes to healing your inner teen. So I think that's my case and now I'm trying to do things I wasn't able to do as a teen and I know I'm only 19 like I am still young but if you think about it like I'm out of high school and I miss out on so many high school opportunities I did go to a football game I did go to prom I never enjoyed anything because of my insecurities because of my anxiety all the things you're supposed to do as a teen like I never did that besides what I've mentioned I hope that makes sense I think like buying all this makeup and all this clothes it's trying to help I am as a person like I've told you like I've struggled making friends in high school school in general like I've always struggled to make friends the people in my area are so mean it's so cool to meet people out of your area this girl that I talk to every day she lives like over an hour away from me we talk every day and if I didn't push myself I would have never met her and like I'm still in the process of trying to meet new people meet new friends but also it's like very draining so I have to like relax a bit and that's why right now right now September. My mindset is all over the place. All of August, besties, I was depressed. All of August. Literally, I got COVID and that sickness got me staying home and being depressed. And then also, I was supposed to have this job and they didn't call me back. But besties, they called me back a few days ago and I start Saturday and I'm so excited. I'm very happy about it. Things like that. Emotions over emotions. Like, I was so overwhelmed. Why am I not loving dolls anymore? What is wrong with me? Why am I buying all these clothes? This, this, and that. All these thoughts. All these emotions. That's why I'm sitting here today and talking with you guys. Because I need to heal myself. I need to heal. I'm so broken. I am so worried about the past. I need to worry about what's what's up now. I am still young. There's going to be more people, more opportunities, better days for me. Sometimes it's so hard to like get out of that mindset of I am not enough. I am so depressed. I don't have that big collection or I don't have San Diego Comic Con Frankie. All of those thoughts. I know this has nothing to do with dolls, but I feel like it's good to talk about this with you guys because what if somebody else is going through the same thing? What if one of you guys who are watching is going through the same thing, going through a phase in their life, trying to meet new people, getting rid of people in the past? trying to find their love for dolls again and they're very depressed i want to help you i want to share my experiences the number one thing that has been helping me in a way is journaling i journal every day every day and look how cute draculaura look at how cute these are it has been helping me a lot i also do video diaries as well um my youtube channel me right now talking to you guys is also another way of me trying to cope with things because letting out your emotions is so good besties growing up i have never had someone fully on listen to me growing up shy with anxiety you keep everything in we need to push ourselves but with doll collecting it has helped me in so many freaking ways it has helped me out of a really dark place this was around 
on COVID, by the way, and it, it really helped me view things differently. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys saying Dark Lane didn't help me at all. It made me broke. No, the money that I spent on these dolls is for a reason. It helped me in that moment, and there's nothing wrong with buying things that helped you in the moment. I'll tell you guys about this. I went to the mall one day. I was very depressed. This was back in August last month. I went to the mall. I was very depressed because I had to return something from when I was with the second guy that I used to see, and I didn't want to have that thing anymore in my room. I was just so upset about so many things. I was so upset. I was so depressed. Like, why aren't things working out for me? Looked at Hello Kitty stuff. I bought it. And now I have healed from that situation. That's how I'm going to start looking at things, is that this doll helped me heal from that situation that I was in. So let's say a lot of you guys are in school. A lot of you guys are adults, actually. So let's say if you're in high school or like middle school, if you're in middle school, don't, don't be watching this. <laughs> I'm just joking. No, but let's say you're in school, right? And you failed a test. You bought a doll. If it helps you in the moment, there's nothing wrong with that. Make sure it's not consuming, besties. If, if it's consuming you, don't let any hobby of yours consume you. Who you are, you have to find other ways and other things to make you happy. So, like, if painting makes you happy, go ahead and paint. Journaling makes you happy, go ahead and journal. Getting dolls here and there makes you happy, do it. Nobody's stopping you. The only person is stopping you is yourself. But you cannot, and I mean this, besties, you cannot let this define your happiness, you know? And and that was my problem for a long time. Doll after doll after doll, never being satisfied. I'm still not satisfied to this day. Still one of my big struggles is learning how to be satisfied with a lot of things. We are all learning and growing. Dolls overall are going to be so important to me even 10 years from now when I'm 30, 40, 50. Dolls in general have helped me in so many ways. Dolls have advantages and disadvantages because of the price point makes you sad. But then when you have the doll, you're very satisfied. But then in that moment, you're going to get over having her. You know what I'm saying? And like, if things like that happen. But overall, if collecting makes you happy, don't let anybody stop you. With me, I'm just going to be talking about random things now because I just need to let this out. I don't tell my family. Only like my grandparents and my parents know that I collect dolls. But everybody else, they don't know. None of their business. I don't have to tell them. Like, like, I'm not going to get anything out of telling them that I collect dolls. Who cares if they know or, or not? It's something that, like, I like to keep to myself. And there's nothing wrong with that. If you want to go ahead and tell your friends that you collect dolls, that's fine. If that helps you heal and become more confident, there is nothing wrong with that. With my friends, they don't know. My new friends, like, my high school friends didn't know. They're not really my friends anymore. They're snakes. They're fake. My new friends now, they don't know. Um, I did have a doll in the car. It was Pacific Coast Margaret. And my friend was like, girl, why the heck do you have a doll in your car? And I said, it's my cousin's. Like, I still have that insecurity problem in a way. Nobody else has to know about doll cleaning. Like, who cares? Then I also have the mindset, like, okay, girl, who cares? Like, then why don't you say anything? In a way, it's like, I don't want them to define me by my doll collecting. That's like some things I still need to figure out and heal from is, girl, you have to be more confident with your doll collecting. And on here on YouTube, oh bestie, I am confident. I will be defending all of y'all if someone slaps at us. If someone comes for us, I got your back. Especially in my comment section, whew, whoever comes for us. I'll flame you guys. If it's like in real life, it's like I show myself out a little bit. Because I'm like, why the fudge do you need to know that I'm collecting? Like, it's none of your freaking business. Like, I'm very defensive with a lot of things and I shouldn't be. How could I be healed from my inner child if I'm not confident with telling people about my doll collecting? This has me, like, just thinking now. Actually, like, I don't think I'm healed yet. Because, like, I am not confident with my doll collecting. But also, you don't need to have confidence to love something, if that makes sense. Spirit of the Earth got me thinking. Lately, I have been trying to heal my inner teen. But I also can go back to my dolls. I can also get Sanrio stuff. I can also be seeing 80 dudes at the same time. I'm just kidding. No, I'm not like that. We all go through phases in life, and I really need to tell myself this. Like, girl, it's okay how you're feeling right now. Like, it's okay to be sad. There are better things out there for you. You just have to find it and push yourself. I think that's one thing that I really want you guys to know and to listen, is that we have to push ourselves. We cannot be so consumed about something and, like, us being so distracted from, like, the real world, you know? because that's a lot of our problems like i'm not like defining every doll collector but from what i've seen a lot of us distract ourselves from the real world and we need to stop that that's why i tell you guys like don't let your dolls define you because we are more than our dolls figure out yourself clean up yourself a bit before cleaning up your doll everybody is different this is just from my personal experience okay i used to let my dolls consume me i used to clean up my dolls do their hair buy them clothes 
But babe, I looked all crusty, all nasty, all raggedy, eyebrows all thick, but I should have fixed myself rather than my doll. There's so many things I wish I could change, but the past is what helps you grow. In a way, what I'm trying to get at is that there's nothing wrong with collecting dolls. I love dolls with all my freaking heart, core of my soul. Since I have been slowing down, I have been seeing the world so much differently. I have been doing things on my own. I have been learning things about myself. I have been trying out new fashion senses. I've been doing new things that I never thought I would have done at the beginning of the year. And I proved myself and so happy that I was able to do so many things. And honestly, it's because of my dolls. You know, my dolls have helped me grow as a person. And without them, if I never collected dolls besties, I think I would be very super not healthy. Like I would not be healthy. Like mentally, physically, emotionally, whateverly, like I would be horrible. My dolls have helped me become the woman who I am today. And I will be forever thankful. I'll forever be thankful for myself for loving these dolls again. And I'm still trying to love them and find the love again because I have lost myself right now in this time. And that happens. It's who you are as a person trying to grow, trying to find yourself. You're going to lose yourself during the process, but that'll help you become a better person. That'll help you get to know yourself more by losing yourself. I'll find myself again. I'll find a better version of myself. I'll find the love again for my dolls. I'll still post YouTube videos, don't worry. The way how you feel about things happen for a reason. It's gonna help you learn and grow as a person. I really hope this video can help you guys have a better perspective about healing your inner child. Do you think you've healed your inner child? Have dolls helped you so much that it has changed you who you are as a person? These are things that you guys need to really think about if you haven't already it helps you have a whole different perspective on collecting it's great to have that perspective it's great to think things on a deeper level and i want you guys to know that you are not alone the emotions that you feel about things for instance collecting let's say you're struggling with collecting right now like how i am it happens we all learn and grow my number one thing is that don't sell all your dolls or you're gonna regret it because i see that all the time i'm definitely gonna sell ones that i've just never been attached to. And if I regret it, I can buy it again. Unless it's a super rare one. I won't sell a super rare one. Just ones that I don't really. Anyway, just know that you are not alone. I'm telling you guys this because I also need to hear this. Things happen. You're going to heal from the situation that you are in. You're going to find yourself again. You're going to find your happiness. You're going to find your purpose. I haven't found my purpose yet, but I will. Just don't let your dolls consume you, who you are as a person. Don't let it define you as a person. Do things for yourself. Go to the mountains for yourself. Go to the beach for yourself. Go to the mall for yourself. Don't do it for anybody else but yourself. Do things that make you happy. You don't have to tell family members or your friends that you collect. There's nothing wrong if you don't. If you want to, go ahead. It's something you love. They should be supportive. If they're not, then you know they're not for you. If it's a family member, just know they don't have an open mindset like you do. Maybe they need to heal from something, you know? You ever think of that? Maybe the people who criticize you need to heal from something else. You never know. I just keep it to myself because that's who I am. Always grown up to keep things to myself. But I'm here sitting in my freaking car in the mountains by myself with my dolls, my camera, talking to you guys because this helped me. You guys have helped me in so many ways. Even if I don't reply to your comments, I read all of your comments. Sometimes like talking to people and like reading comments or like replying to comments is very time consuming, overwhelming in a way because I have to like go through so many. That's why I don't reply to a lot of DMs and I'm so sorry, but I see them. Don't think I'm ignoring you besties. I appreciate and love all of you guys so much and just know I support you in your doll journey. You don't necessarily have to collect to heal your inner child. That is just from me, my experience, my perspective. Everybody is different. Everybody has different experience when it comes to starting off with doll collecting or doll collecting for years. It's different for everybody and I want you guys to know that things happen for a reason. You're collecting for a reason. You're healing yourself. There's nothing wrong with healing yourself and if doll collecting is not for you and you know you're not going to regret selling your dolls go ahead your emotions are valid okay they're valid and it's okay to feel the way how you feel i'm so happy to have all 1.6k of you guys to be supporting me my doll journey how i feel about dolls and i am so thankful to see that a lot of you guys like to hear my opinionated videos or how i feel about things 
really makes me so happy because somebody finally is listening to me and I love all of you and I wouldn't be here if it weren't for my dolls. I would not be here. I wouldn't have this YouTube channel without my dolls. I wouldn't have met one of my doll best friends if it weren't for my dolls. Dolls can be so beautiful but there is going to be struggles during it. It's not going to be perfect. If you're a new collector, it is not going to be perfect. Doll collecting is not perfect it has its disadvantages and that's just with other things in life all of us just need to heal and to grow and to find the better versions of ourselves and don't be so depressed because there's better things out there for us there's better opportunities but like i said guys let me know down below is your inner child heal are you done with collecting how long do you guys think you're going to be collecting for because for me i don't really see myself collecting in 10 years like i just don't see that i mean off and on like i get it all here and there but like constant not even three not even two i don't even know about a year i don't know i don't know you never know because what if there's going to be a better doll line i really want you guys just to listen i really want to hear how you guys feel about this video is anybody else going through the same thing but as for now i'll see you guys in the next video like i'll tell you in every video i appreciate you so much thank you for all the support i still love dolls and i'll still collect them don't worry there's still gonna be more youtube video content and i'll see you guys in the next video bye besties